Hello guys, I spent 55 floors looking for a specific thing and the spider didn't give it to me. So I had to take matters into my own hands and have the craziest heart fight I've ever had. I think ever. Now this video is a little bit on the longer side but I guarantee it's worth it. In the very least, just watch the heart fight and see how I managed to get this done despite not finding that key piece. Enjoy. Let's aim for like an hour and a half run here. I'm having a silent honeymoon right now. I mean, this is like, it's just transformer Boswellic. So now I guess the question is, what is, how ballsy are we doing from Boswellic? Actually, I'm curious, Kuro, how many times did you do Boswellic on your streak? Because aren't there some Boswellics that just ruin the streak altogether? I can imagine Busted Crown is not fun. You never swap. There are some nice elite paths with some upgrades. Late elite, nice upgrades. This is a nice path. Transform. Get some upgrades. Do one early elite. I can I can leave this act with four upgraded cards. I like that. You take choose a card over swap. But did you take transform over that? Nightmare choke. All right, boys. Let's not choke this nightmare because last time we got nightmare early, we had alchemized potion belt and I ruined it. So let's not ruin it this time. Nightmare early is crazy talk, but it's future investment. You know, we can think about some cheeky things like backstab. Backstab against Laga Volin, backstab against Gremlin. There are some things that could happen. Even Alchemize, like I said. I won all three runs today. Going for the fourth. Won all three or going for the fourth? Poison Tap strikes again. Cloak and Dagger is here with the choke. Apparently this guy right here, Kuro, has it. The guy who tells me to take cow traps to troll me. To be, to be fair, he does say, never mind, I'm just kidding. Um, Cloak and Dagger is interesting because it has a choke, two cards. It's the Poison Tap, let's go. Let's go this way, see what we got. Okay. Max HP, love that. Is it ever relic? Wait, guys, is it ever relic remove the move at the shop? It's interesting, isn't it? Or rather, is it shop already to get potions? It's an early shop, which is not the greatest, but we can buy a potion and then we can maybe go for this elite. It's a gremlin and not be worried about it. And what are the first upgrades? I want to upgrade choke. I think the upgrade choke is pretty. Eh, it's not that great of an upgrade. Omori, Omori on floor three, El Narion. Uh, interesting. I, I like. Thank you for your um, your strategy. That was a very informative guide. If you have Omori, take the curse on floor three. Oh, you know that's pretty good. That's a hundred games. So eighty-seven, thirteen. Sheesh. Um, let's see, I'm gonna try this early potion thing. Almond was on sale? How do they know? How do they know that I love this card? A newfound bay. Almond over blessing. Okay, RP ice cream, RP bag. Is it remove? I went over. Is it potion? I went over. Oh, that's fair. I'll now run. It's fair. I'm just pulling your leg. We're going against the Guardian. The Guardian is a pushover, right? We're not worried about the Guardian. How important is to remove the strike and start adding other offensive cards? Well, we want to make sure we can kill the, the Elite. So I think the potion makes sense. Our maneuver could lead into some bigger Nightmare turns. In fact, I think our maneuver plus Nightmare is an interesting combo, but it's like together they're kind of a curse. We're going to draw into all these cards that don't play at all in Act 1. And we're going to be taking lots of damage because we have an Outmaneuver and a freaking Nightmare in the deck. Like, so I, I do think it was probably just um, a move as well there. The Outmaneuver, is, I'm getting a little fresh because it's been treating me so well lately. But you can imagine Act 1, these cards are not what you want to be doing. 
But a blade that's with a choke can go a long way. Alright, we got the wallet plants. Target, I don't really have target right now. The nightmare was so I got transformed too early game. It gave me choke and nightmare. Um right now the nightmare doesn't have that many targets. I'm looking for a backstab. I think backstab is like a good uh, entry point. And we'll, we'll work with the Nightmare as it comes. It's not really an Act 1 card. So we're going to put Nightmare on the back burner. And it'll come to play later. Flechette has skills versus taking Wally Plants. Now, if I take Wally Plants, I mean, I'm basically asking to die at the Elite. Although, obviously, the plans goes well with all these things I'm doing. I'm like building a deck that's good for Act 2, but I'm in Act 1. Like Outmaneuver, Nightmare, Plans, these are all good cards. But not on floor, what, four? Not very good. Because I, remember, I had to fight in Elite. So I, if I take the Plans, I have to say, well, despite the fact that I have a Plans, I'm also going to be able to beat the Elite. You know? Even though I love Plans so much. Choke a lot better well laid. Is it though? I would need a pair of other zero cost cheap cards like Shibs. I mean, I'm a new because well, well, though. Let's try it. All right, boys. Do we have what it takes to beat the Gremlin? Well, one upgrade to win them all, boys. So, Poison Stab. Good against Laga. Probably okay against Gremlin in terms of damage upgrade. And in a pinch, I could. Blessing, Nightmare, the Poison, and just pray. Not bad. Neutralize. Good all-around upgrade. Good against the Guardian. Good against, good against Laga. Not bad against Gremlin. Um, we're going to be using both potions if we need to. Um, what is the next upgrade? What is the next upgrade? Hmm. Our maneuver is ever worth upgrading? Hmm. We're, 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 our main goal is Gremlin, right? Because I think we, we're fine against the other ones. So against Gremlin, what's the best pick? I think Poison Stab. Choke? Choke is so not playable right now because I don't have enough zero cost cards. The upgrade, I can't. If I get like a blade dance and some zero card cards, maybe some more energy, Toke would become good. But right now, I can't. We got the Gremlin, okay. So we have Nightmare on the Strike Plus with Outmaneuver. Does that do enough? It adds a lot of Strike Pluses to the deck. It's interesting, at least, right? It's interesting in the least. It adds a lot of strike pluses into the deck. Whoo, what a choke. Oh my god. Okay. I want to plus into into a choke into that. Now that is a good use of choke up, choke upgrade. You're telling me that with all the strike pluses, um, so we have lethal like twenty ways to Sunday, right? Would you guys ever do speed pot just to save this life? There's no way we don't have lethal next turn. Well, is there a way I don't have lethal next turn? I can't say wait, I don't have lethal. I guess if I get out maneuver, neutralize, defend, defend, strike. But even then, that is 13 damage. How much value can I get as people otherwise? I 
I mean, I could have full blocked, but whatever. Nunchaku, very nice. Dagger throw, skewer, deadly poison. All right, we're seeing some, some familiar faces. I can take the skewer and upgrade it. I know you don't like skewer, but skewer into outmaneuver? I'm trying to see a familiar deck. Oh, man. I like skewer. I don't like skewer. The fan? Okay, like that. Giant claws. Now, this is the Laga. Now, why is Laga always in this event trying to debuff me? If there was any other boss, I would take it. I'm ready for another elite. But for a Laga on immediate debuff, here's a problem. I would like to set up for Laga. Like to set up some nightmare stuff or while they plan stuff. Unfortunate event. All right, we got Nightmare. We have Outmaneuver. This is a tough fight, isn't it? If I upgrade these cards, Nightmare Outmaneuver is a really good combo because next turn I can go um, Buck Wild with Abby Nightmare into its choke, right? I'm worried about this fight. Damn. Damn, and I had a bad event for Slaga, and now I have a bad event here. Sheesh. Not very nice. <clears throat> oh my god, I have five energy and for what? Damn. I wonder if I'm supposed to just skip both these events. This is tragic. So if I do this. Next turn is a problem. Oh, we're fine. Hell yeah. Okay, how should I play this? Should I play greedy? Should I do choke strike on the right? To maximize my damage output? Or would you guys do choke well laid and then take the strike? Because I want to. Hmm. If I strike on the right, this guy's going to be at five. So he dies to strike and then strike skewer right here. So I think it's choke strike on the right. And then, but if I do well, I don't have to draw back into well, which helps me draw back into the skewer and shit, right? So it's minus one energy now, but it's plus one draw in the future. This is a little bit, a little bit sus, isn't it? It's a little bit sus. It's more than a little bit sus. It's a lot of it sus. No, it's not. We're fine. We're fine. We're not fine. We're not fine. I was so close to getting Nunchaku. If I did strike last turn, if I did strike last turn, oh god! If I did strike last turn, we 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 win this. Okay, that was a mistake. I think I just do strike and say, okay, who cares about minus one draw? Just do the strike. Nunchaku gets perfect. I mean, it's obviously in hindsight. In hindsight, this looks tragic. But you never know. The minus one draw might have made a difference. Is it ever slice? I like the slice. Alrighty. So I don't want to rest. Now, are we scared of the Lagavulin? We have time to set up against Lagavulin. And if we have time to set up, I want to upgrade Nightmare. And now Nightmare Slice is on the table, no? Nightmare Slice is on the table. I feel like Nightmare is a good upgrade. 
so it's at least playable. Yeah, that was a mistake. I mean, I, I played that wrong. But I never know. You never know if you let the Wally Plains shuffle back in, if that wouldn't have been that draw. Who knows? Maybe using that energy for one strike. If you look at the equation between energy strike damage, minus plus one energy is a lot more important than minus one draw or whatever. Now, Wally Plains is not an important upgrade because I don't have that much energy to play with it. And you rather have Nightmare be playable or you want to make a maneuver better. Or you want to upgrade Poison Staff before they lock a bolt then. Poison Staff Lagavulin like seems interesting. Lagavulin like is sort of scary. I want to make this playable. I, I could have went to the left and got the... I, I didn't have to do this elite. So if I die, it's because I, I went to this elite. I didn't have to do this elite. I didn't have to do this elite. I also could have striked there, but... I had I had an out. Ooh, dagger spray, endless agony. I like endless agony because it has Ninchaku on the fan. Plus, it has choke synergies. It's bad against the guardian, but man, I like it. I like the agony choke a lot. Even though dagger spray is quite nice because dagger spray handles the triple sentry. Like this, I want every card here. Dagger spray good for triple sentry. Good for getting some AOE in my deck, which I had none of. Slay's good. We lost. We won every uh, game today. Uh, Joe laughing. I'm trying to figure out the silent here. Oh, we got the log. Okay, so now we can let the... Ooh. We have Nightmare Slice. Outmaneuver. Wait. Okay. Is it ever... Nightmare Slice, Outmaneuver. Okay, the problem is putting that many slices in the deck sucks. Nightmare Outmaneuver and go for a big skewer? That's hilarious. And I like it. Wow. That is fun. That is fun. That's fun. Is he correct? Let's find out. He's probably holding the slice there. Okay, what if I don't draw into skewer, guys? One problem. What if I don't draw into skewer? Kind of got set up here. Should I put poison stab so that as an out, in case I don't draw skewer, I have like a backup. Nah, we're drawing skewer every time. Hell yeah. Not bad. But what if I keep this train going and do a maneuver and do it again? How much damage does choke do here? Not enough. Hell yeah. What a way to wake up. Wait, choke in this agony. And that's why you don't play choke, baby. Perfect nunchaku. Oh my goodness. Well, that was, I would never, uh, well, we knew Nightmare was good against Lago, but that was nice. Okay. Piercing. Piercing's good. Piercing is good. Isn't it funny? When you take piercing, think, good things happen. All right, what's the upgrade? What's up, Yuck Mouth? How's the storybook treating you? Thank you for that, that that tournament the other I didn't I never thanked you but thank you for that tournament you and Horsemouth ran. 
All right. What's the upgrade? Is it outmaneuver? I kind of like the outmaneuver energy. Yeah, that was the most fun I had in book in a while because the element of collusion was surprisingly fun. It, it really spiced up the game for me. I ended up having fun with the game by itself, like by doing that again, but having to interact, like, trying to force polys, trying to do all these things, it was, it was surprisingly fun. And it's not like you can collude that hard. You still have to face each other in top four. And you have to make this educated decision. Okay, should I kill you because you have a better chance of getting first? There's like a whole. There's a lot of layers to it. All right, out, upgrade out maneuver. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna show this some love. Blessing, because if we blessing this fight, the fight's over, right? Let's blessing this fight. Is there a better blessing? This seems like a pretty good blessing. Okay. I guess the blessing wants to hit the fence. Because isn't or don't you want to block in this fight? So I'm thinking you want to hit the defense, but I am hitting survivor. I guess I could do color spot and upgrade the colors as well. Well, fuck me. I don't want to keep these endless agonies in the deck. Just because it's awkward against the Guardian. Now, I wonder what this was before I... I mean, I don't care about using potions. Once we get out of action, we're happy. Color spot is neither here nor there. Panache. That's cute. But what's cuter? Nightmare Outmaneuver is cuter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why would I potion for like 60 feet? Um, I'm not sure. Because I, I, I don't value colors about that much, I guess. That's why. Nightmare Outmaneuver Agony? No, 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 no. I can Nightmare Outmaneuver now. I guess we could never have no 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 not no 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 never no I guess we're never gonna maneuver then. Wait, what if I had Nightmare Survivor? I can't proc Panache this turn, what the hell? I can't remember Panache this turn. Panache, one, two, three, four. I can't proc Panache. Panache doesn't count as a card towards itself, right? Because wouldn't it be nice to Nightmare Survivor? And then the block's solved, the run's over. I mean, I could do it, the Panache's turn, but I think I wanted to Nightmare the Survivor. I guess I'll turn it into Nightmare I'll Maneuver and go for a fat-ass skewer. Big choke next turn. I say big choke, but I want to save score for the. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's kind of awkward that. I'm taking so much damage. I mean, it's fine. We're never in trouble, right? It'd be a foolish not to use this right now, right?
All right, we got the nightmare. Are we nightmaring the survivor and never lose this fight? What do you guys think? Or just not use nightmare at all and just do choke choke stuff. Well, choke is pretty good here because it has poison stab with the nunchaku. And it's full block. And I have, well, it's GG, I guess. All right. Huh. Time to Nightmare Outmaneuver is time. Nightmare Survivor, baby. I can never lose a Nightmare Survivor. It's written in the card. It says survive. You can't lose when something says survive. It's a fact. GG. Yeah, I know I use my potions. Whatever. Outmaneuver gaming. GG. It's like that beautiful nunchaku. Just a little bit more. Nice. Okay, let's go. All right, boys. Burst or adrenaline? Burst, nightmare? Or adrenaline because nightmare is adrenaline target? Uh oh. My, I'm dropping frames. All right, this has to be the last run, boys. I'm dropping frames. Burst Nightmare is OP. Burst Nightmare says, whatever your next hand's gonna be, forget it. I'm gonna give you six cards instead. There's also Burst Whale. Burst Out Maneuver. Adrenaline helps though, with things like Skewer, setting up Nightmare things, Choke things. And uh, I, 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 ooh, shit, guys. I see the button. I see the thing. Someone convinced me not to click this P box. We already have outmaneuver, guys. Outmaneuver adrenaline, that's our energy for the run. Fuck it, we might even do nightmare outmaneuver and just have outmaneuver every turn. Tactician, a lot of agnes. Okay, we're, v wow, I'm in agony right now. But. Agony, you guys get out of the deck. It is proc Nunchaku. It does proc Ornamental. It does cost zero. It does help choke. Tactician is energy. Backstab also gets rid of the deck. This is almost infinite. Wait a minute. My deck's going to go infinite in a second. It's going to be very hard to go infinite. But I'll try. Acro for this uh, Tactician is quite nice. All right, we have a lot of money, so I want to get these. So normally, these events in X2 are great because there's a thing that says upgrade defense and strikes, right? However, we don't have any strikes or defense. I still like the Act 2 events because of like apparitions, but I'm rich, so there is some merit to go to the shop. But man, there's a lot of hallway fights. I have a question. How many leads are we doing? If we decide how many leads we're doing, maybe that'll give us a, a game plan because I can go over here and get a midway shop. Let's do the midway shop. All right, so we're now facing the wrath of. Now, upgrading choke would have been sick. Someone told me to upgrade choke, and I, I denied them. But now, upgraded choke looks pretty good here, doesn't it? The alternative is to do nightmare backstab and win the fight next turn. How much damage do I have for choke? So right now I have eight. Fourteen. 25, 25 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So we got 37, 37 plus. I have lethal on one of them. I should have killed the one in the back, right? Oh, I had Nunchaku as well? Oh, that's OP. That's OP, guys. 
full block and I killed them? Oh my. Wow, I didn't expect that. Wow. And it's okay. Okay, let's see what distraction gives us. I'm ready. Interesting. What if I do the malaise first and then draw? Fuck it. Oh. Lethal next turn. Wait, this deck's incredible. Wait, I meant to click the skewer. Slick son of a gun. You slick son of a gun. I just took seven damage to the face for nothing. I keep thinking that Wally Plans is upgraded and it's not. That's a seven, seven damage mistake. Not only is it a seven damage mistake, guys, it's also a freaking Nunchaku mistake. Oh my god, that might just reverberate. That might reverberate. All right, Nightmare Nightmare. We have Infinite Nightmares or num another Adrenaline. Adrenaline is pretty good when we have uh, no energy. So yeah, that was seven damage to the face plus the Nunchaku. Who knows how much that's going to affect me. We'll find out next time. Yeah, that's probably worth a restart because it's like seven plus the Nunchaku, which who knows, but who cares? It is what it is. So what's the duplicate, guys? Because um, I think if we want to have this deck flow more smoothly, we want to do the Adrenaline twice. But if we want to go for infinite nightmares, so we can infinite nightmare adrenaline and go, I mean, damn. Of course, that's always tempting. It's only going to suck if that loses me the run and wobbles, right? Which in a run like this, when you're on three energy and it's like everything, you know, every relic has to play. I'm, I'm confident that it's not going to affect the run too bad. But obviously 7 HP does matter in elite fights. Okay. Nightmare has, is, is a troll, isn't it? It's got to be adrenaline. But are we strong enough to afford double nightmare? It won't matter. Apps are coming. Oh, wow. Well, if apps are coming, then we should do double nightmare so we can infinite intangible. Well, that is not an apparition. That's a freaking avocado. All right, so I would have one more extra in Chakra and seven more life. Would it have mattered? Maybe the seven life would matter. But if apparitions comes, then everything's solved. Um, nice. This deck is kind of. This deck is kind of nice, isn't it? Wait, I might. Wait, jeez. Wait, this deck is kind of kick. Oh, I like this. I like this deck. All right, give me apparitions. Oh, sneaky strike, no. Dagger spray, no. What about, does footwork make any sense in this deck? I only have two cards that say block. So footwork doesn't make that much sense, but it could be like a never target down the line. It doesn't make sense right now. Sneaky, I only have survivor. If I get an acrobatic sneaky, join the team, because we have tactician, but for right now, this looks like a skip. Unless you guys like dagger spray still. For things like slavers. Also, Dagger Spray is good for the Gremlin leader. Uh, how do I value Dagger Spray here? I feel like Dagger Spray is still probably fine. There's a lot of AoE things like the birds as well. Birds in general. I guess choke is sort of AoE-ish because it, it can, you know, hit something else while attacking something else. Huh. That gets so clean that I don't want to mess it up. 
it's operating very well right now. A dagger face seems useful. I you, so you're asking would I take Cleveland this spot? A cleave with some upside. I mean, knowing what I'm about to face in Act Two, a cleave seems decent. Namely, slavers and gremlin leader. It would be nice, mainly for the gremlin leader, to be able to kill the minions without wasting too much of my single target. I'll pass. Okay, nightmare. Is it ever nightmare backstep? Thoughts? Okay, if I do distraction, it doesn't keep its cost, right? I think we t we signed this, didn't we? If you do distraction and nightmare it, it doesn't keep the costs. I'm pretty sure I signed that, or am I wrong? Oh shit. Oh wow. Wow. Boys, oh boys. Choke is here. And choke isn't messing around. Wow. Perfect Ninchaku. Alright, now I want Apparitions to make up for the fact that I lost 7 HP. That's a Piercing Wheel Plus. Well, this is like a P-Box that is making Choke go crazy. Into like the perfect distraction that gives me a, a bullet time. Into like, I mean, this is just Choke performing like, wow, this is wild. Backstep is good. It fits the theme. Piercing Will Plus is pretty fucking good. Alright. Apparitions. Okay. So you know that other adrenaline that I had? I was thinking, not that useful. But you know what's even better? What if I get rid of Infinite Blades? Infinite Blades takes too long. It's way too slow. And wouldn't it be better to get a heal out of it? Now you could say... How about you remove like distraction because no one has time for art. Wait, I have so many endless agonies. Because this gets at this gets rid of itself, but still the fact that it gets rid of, it's still a negative one draw. Just so with better dark shackles, I mean sometimes. It depends. It's contextual. It's contextual. One of them costs zero and it's a single target and does more. Alright, so the, the, I get rid of the blades or get rid of the distraction? I'm thinking the blades gets rid of itself, but I still don't want to play it to begin with. Although it is quite nice to have a little bit of cheeky blades or a mental fan in the Jackal value. And distraction is still, I'm still not done with distraction yet. I think it has some play left. But if you think about the world of infinite, get rid of distraction, play infinite blades. The deck is so small. I mean, if we we look at the deck real quick, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have like an eleven card deck. Plus a distraction card, twelve. I have a twelve card deck. Hmm. What about adrenaline for max HP? I thought about it, but I feel like adrenaline is gonna be a lot pretty useful. So yeah. Alright, so do you want to go for another event in search of apparitions? Or do we fail the apparition front and get some upgrades? Because we have some upgrades we can get. For instance, Adrenaline's a good upgrade. Well, it plans to become a better upgrade. Choke is becoming an upgrade target, I must say. Choke, I dare say Choke might even be an upgrade target right now. But I still want to do Adrenaline first. Apparitions would be free. Choke is getting is getting pretty good. 
It's ready to get upgraded soon. All right, painful steps. Let's see what we have. Got a blur. I like that. I like that a lot. This one of the fans are going wild. Wow. So this turn was... What do I say about this turn, guys? Should I keep them in the deck? I mean, what the hell do I... Okay, I hold the steward, do I'll maneuver stuff. Adrenaline Nightmare, I'll maneuver, skewers in a one shot. You ready? Skewer is gonna one shot. So we take a small little flesh wound. And we set up the skewer one shot right now. Okay, the skewer one shot is kind of hard. I mean, it does a lot of damage anyways because of Adrenaline next turn. Okay. So that was painful, but Skewer does a lot of work. I didn't have opportunity to play Nightmare in this fight because this fight is pretty fast-paced. Let's see if we can draw into the Choke. Not that it matters because Skewer wins. Okay. Okay, I'm going to number two. Storm of Steel or Dagger Spray? What does Storm of Steel do? Storm of Steel says, Would you like to finish your turn with a whole bunch of shivs? Do I have the card for that? I could replace Endless Agonies with shivs, which turns into choke damage. Storm of Steel is trash, I gotta be honest. Unless I have like infinite card draw every turn, which I don't. Why, why is Storm of Steel so trash? And then there's Outmaneuver number two, which um, I'm going to pass on as well. It sucks that that's a rare. All right, I'm going head first into Sparkle. And now the Sparkle is going to be Grown Leader or Slavers. Do we struggle against either of those? Make this shit upgrade by default? Maybe, yeah. Not a bad idea. I mean, it's a situational card. Service uh, Steel could be situationally good. I don't think it's this good in this situation. Are this good? This fight could be scary. But not when Outmaneuver is here. I mean, not when Piercing Well is here. Uh, do I want to redraw to Endless Agony? I'm not opposed to it. I, was, I did leave some damage on the table though, that was my bad. Alright. It's a good turn. Oh, outmaneuver from distraction? Say it ain't so. Oh my god, full block. And like, oh my god. And we, yeah, I forgot to mention we have Happy Flower. Happy Flower is very relevant, guys. Happy Flower is extremely relevant. It's extremely relevant. So now we have energy from Nunchaku, energy from Happy Flower. Acrobatics is here now. And now acrobatics seems bad, but you think about the fact that we have Tactician in the deck. And sometimes acrobatics is just a free draw. With tactician in the deck. Tactician becomes an upgrade target. It's another green whale. Green whales are incredible. I will not lie, green whales are very good. But acrobatics solves Starts to get pretty good. I mean, we, we're starting to get some energy stuff going on. The Tactician kind of wants the acrobatics in play. Even Deflect is very good. Green wheels, are, most wheels are blue, yes. All right, we're going for the big elite. I'm confident. Let's go. Bandages. Did I mention that bandages is one of my favorite relics in the game? I think I might have mentioned it at some point in time. Now, by itself... I mean, that mean we're going to get so much block from relics at that point. What are we removing? 
at this point, I might even remove the poison stab or the distraction. No, maybe I'll move the distraction. And this, uh, I'll move quick slash. Quick slash can go. Let's remove quick slash. How does that sound? Snow should back. Nah, there's other things that banishes can be good on with. Um, so banishes right now is not that great, but the acrobatics the survivor are already playing it, and then once we get a calculated gamble, leading to discard a little bit more. Oh, the banishes is gonna be sick. I'm just worried because what if I take toolbox and upgrade as well? Because army and upgrade debt. I can imagine you guys are all gonna get we have upgrade debt. So war paint and toolbox is very good. You also get a removal with it. The thing is, bandages is such a formative relic going in the future. And we haven't lost today, Wendago. So, like, even the upgrades look kind of sexy. No, I, I like the bandages too much. I'm wor I'm kind of worried about the elite, though. I don't have that many good relic, uh, potions for it. And Toolbox is a very good relic as well. We're taking advantage of this, go boys. What is it ever dodge and roll to get some more block? Because the deck is lacking block, and we have speed pots. So dodge and roll speed pots. Is that like a consideration, or not really? Wait, what about Flash of Steel? Wait, what if we buy Flash of Steel? How close are we getting to infinite here? Flash of Steel is expensive, but it fits the theme of the deck very well. Let's go, boys. You gotta get a terror here. Just get a terror and GG. No scared, no longer scared of Ulites. We have Nightmare Backstab. We also have Nightmare on Outmaneuver. How about we do Nightmare Backstab? Play the Outmaneuver. And next turn we go wild. I gotta upgrade this while they plants. Uh, this is a very interesting deck. Oh my god, skewer's going crazy. Wait, lethal. The problem is I wanna stack up happy flower. Holy crap. Oh my god, phantasmal. I want to stack up Happy Flower. Next turn we have so much damage, it's ridiculous. I'm, stack I'm, I'm going for the Happy Flower stack. Kaka Gamble is incredible. Yeah, Kaka Gamble is incredible. Don't get me wrong. This, this, this deck is spicy for sure. This deck is pure gas. Alright, got one happy flower. Another green whale. Oh my. I gotta make sure that... um. The happy flower is more happy than this. Power pot, wow. Terror. All right, boys, Terror has arrived. Now, I know Vishwa is going to be really good with bandages once I get going, but I don't have the bandages thing going, and Terror is a very good way to upgrade damage. I like Terror a lot. So we're taking the Terror card. Uh, speed pot versus, okay, we're taking the power pot. Let's go. It's going to be the hardest fight so far. We've had it all run. And once we're done with this, the sky is the limit, I think. Well then, the Bronze and the Maiden is, not, is kind of difficult. I almost want to save the Power Pot for the Bronze and the Maiden. Because I don't feel that confident. Unless I get a Calculate Gamble right now. And then, and then I think the run's over. So I'm going to try to save this Power Pot. Alright, let's take a look here. 
Terra here. You would ignore minions. Really. I don't like the debuff. So I want to kill this guy. Because I don't like the debuff. First and foremost. And... Other than that, I could focus on the ground. I think killing this helps me not get attacked. Well, I have piercing well, so... If I get attacked, it's not a big deal. I don't like the debuff, though. I can say that much. Alright. We're good. But other than that, I have so many piercing wells that should never take damage, right? I'd be surprised if I take damage here. Well, it turns out I might take damage here. Now we're fine. Piercing wheel is always in the deck, you see? The guy might even die straight up. Wait, did I have lethal with uh, liquid memories? I'm trying to say both potions though. Wait, did I have lethal in general? It was 45. I didn't do the math. 45 plus 48, 48 plus 4. Wasn't enough, right? Wasn't enough. I'm taking damage, but that's not a big deal, is it? Blocking for 10 HP doesn't seem that great. I mean, when you look at the total of HP though, 10 HP is a big portion of my life. But the Thieves Potion is going to be really good for the, 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 the big... Uh... Well, my Potion Chains might be high. I don't know what my Potion Chains is. I just got a Power Pot. It's not that high. But there are another fight after the fact, so I could save 10 life. So that I don't have to be resting. And if I don't rest, I can do something like upgrade wall late plants. It's not guaranteed to get a potion, though. If only Choke was upgraded. Very true. Very true. Uh, choke and kill right now. Choke kills right now. Saves 10 HP. Alright. And we'll get, we'll get a potion and be happy that I saved this 10 HP. Got a potion, and the potion's a good one too. And the potion's a good one. All right, is it is it flex finisher stuff? What I want more than anything is a freaking calculated gamble. But finisher's pretty good here. We have endless agonies, flash steals, nightmare on attacks. We have blade dance. This is a pretty good finisher. Shipping the artifacts is difficult, exactly. That's the big big part. So uh, maybe this is not just fumes, maybe this is in Venom. If this po power is in Venom, boom, the fight solved. Strip all those artifacts, allow the piercing wheels, allow the weaken, and allow the terror. So in Venom would be a big power pot here. Finisher's a little bit awkward because I don't know if I have nah finisher's great. I love it. Let's go wild here. How much damage do I have right now? With skewer. Is Skewer just like straight up? It's lethal. Are we happy to have lethal when we have Nunchaku on zero? I mean, I can get Nunchaku skilled up no problem. That's not a big deal. I think we take lethal when we see lethal, no? Another potion, wow. There's another nightmare. Ooh. Okay, but none of these things are saying calculated gamble. So 
So what about? Boy. Uh, okay, double nightmare. Is that good? I mean, nightmare has a lot of targets. It has adrenaline and stuff. Secondly, is it ever blurricade? Don't know about the blurricade. I take the nightmare. Let's go. Another acrobatics. Let's do it. All right. So what's the upgrade, boys? Double well laid. Tacticians with the double acrobatics. So our energy is solved. Nightmare, so it's more playable. Finisher for more damage. I don't know. What's the best upgrade? Let me think. I like Adrenaline as Nightmare targets. I like Finisher damage. Well, the plant seems to be like a pretty decent upgrade as though as well. Let's do it. Power Pot, let's go. Should I save Power Pot just in case I have Nightmare for something really crazy? Eh, nothing's crazy here. Probably the worst Power Pot I've ever seen in my life. My lord. It's a decent choke, however. Although choke doesn't go through. Infinite blades. Yeah, this is terrible. And if I do footwork, how much does footwork do for me? I only have like two skills that have footwork on it. Distraction might be another skill that has footwork on it. I still think footwork keeps me alive the most. Couch traps doesn't seem like that much damage. How much is the damage the couch trap for this fight? After should try like 15, 20 damage. I don't know. Probably 15 damage. Like 18 damage. Infinite Blades seems okay, I guess. So the downside of Infinite Blades is that it's slow, but I have it right now and I get... It seems fine. Unless you guys... Yeah, Infinite Blades seems pretty good with Finisher as well. Yeah, let's do infinite blades. All right, let's go. So I'm getting rid of some artifacts, which is nice. I want to draw into Wally plants. I don't want to draw into all these endless agonies. How much should we keep some endless agonies in the deck? I don't think so. I think we're gonna end it right here. All right, we gotta get rid of one more artifact, and then wait. What if I just a piercing one now? So that means I can apply terror. But I guess poison stab gets rid of the artifact for terror, and this piercing one might be a really good block later on. I'm gonna trust that this piercing one is better block later on. But if I get terror and I can't play it, I'm gonna feel like shit. See what this gives us. Crippling. Nice. Alright, but I have a lot of endless agonies right here. So what are they stealing? They're gonna steal my nightmares and my adrenaline. I want to kill them because I think those are pretty nice to have. I can just hold slice because I I don't think it's it's better to hold slice for finisher purposes. And now we gotta ask, what's gonna be the nightmare target? So we got through the first part of the fight. No artifacts left. So is the nightmare target gonna be something like Blade Dance for big finishers? And then do a big finisher flex spot? And then once we use a flex spot for this fight, we get a boss relic. We're in good shape. Act three, we have prayer wheel, bandages. We can find tough. Once we find calculator gamble, the run's pretty much solved. Because nightmare gamble just wins fights. I think we're gonna nightmare adrenaline maybe. And just go for like really clean turns. And once I have terror, this guy's fucked, huh? A big finisher here. Really big finisher here. I know that was a lot of damage. I, so that was kind of a lot of damage wasted, maybe. Because I could have done... I could have done all that finisher on the Bronze Animated. 
Wait, wasn't that like a big flex spot turn for Bronze Out of Maiden? Practically would have been lethal. I didn't even take a look. If I did all that damage on the Bronze Out of Maiden with flex spot, that was probably a dead boss. Because he has terror. Wait, that was... We'll get that turn again, right? It's not, that, that, that's not going to leave us. We'll get that again. We're actually going to get even better, bigger turn with the Adrenaline and Nightmare. We'll have an even bigger turn right now. Well, I would need to get... I should have waited. Because I need to get... Damn, that's kind of, it's kind of tough, isn't it? Oh, we got that. We got that out maneuver, but I can't play the out maneuver. I guess I would have to. So then, what are we nightmaring then? What are we out uh, uh, nightmaring then? If I'm not doing adrenaline, we're gonna have a big turn next time with finisher though. Let's Nightmare the Adrenaline and go wild. Nightmare Adrenaline, play out maneuver. Uh, this is going to be the biggest turn you've ever seen. You guys ready? I can even keep my flex spot. I'm going to even keep the flex spot. Next turn is going to go stupid wild. I should probably keep the acrobatics next turn, right? Is there a way I draw back into? I draw back into finisher anyways, don't I? Should I just do finisher now? We can draw back into. Uh, we can draw back into the finisher anyways. I'm pretty confident we can draw back into finisher anyways. Pretty confident we can draw back into it. If we're gonna have so many adrenalines plus an acrobatics. All right, let's go. If I don't draw back into finisher, then. That sucks, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. There it is. There it is. This deck is crazy. We had double nightmares, so we, we we can do some crazy stuff in the late game. Let's get out maneuver going. We have lethal, but you know I do want to make happy flower more happy. Ah, this is fine. This is fine. Wow. Phantasma killer da da da. Phantasma just means that's just kind of nuts. Now my damage is way. Like, it's almost too much damage. I don't even know if I want phantasmal. I'm like this thing. This deck already has all the damage. I need to solve other things. I need to solve the w not dying, which I think we're going to manage with tough bandages. Calculate gamble prayer wheel. I'm pretty confident prayer wheel is about to pop out a bandages. This PK is crazy. Is there ever such a thing as too much damage? This PK is crazy. 1,000 cuts? Nah, I don't know about 1,000 cuts. I think, I'll think i take the Phantasm Killer. We're starting to see a lot of familiar faces. So the bottom of Busted Crown was because I really wanted to find Cockle Game with the Prey Wheel. If I take Busted Crown, I'm still seeing two cards, but I could be seeing six. And seeing six is pretty good when you're really looking for Calculator Gamble because Calculator Gamble takes this deck to the next level. Nightmare Calculator Gamble, I think the heart can't survive. So it's going to be a three energy deck. You guys ready? I remember how I said I had too much damage? Well, let's make that even more. Actually, I'm, here's what I'm, I'm going to take Tiny House. This is the first time in my life I'm taking Tiny House, actually. Because 
I don't need wrist plate damage. My damages are good enough anyways. I know this to deny wrist plate here is almost like a crime because I have so much zero cost. I think we don't need wrist plate damage. Instead, I like the max HP. I like the upgrade. I like the gold. And I'm going to put a lot of stock into Calculator Gamble. At this point, what do I remove? I guess I can just remove this distraction. Do you guys still think Poison Tap is worth it because of the stripping of artifacts or nah? We have Choke to remove artifacts and that's it. I think stripping artifacts is sort of relevant for Donor Deca and sometimes for the heart as well. Which is that's good before we need to block for like hallway fights, but we already beat hallway fights. Whereas Tiny House is probably better for the heart, no? Prepared. Prepared is a great card here. That's a great card. Three energy deck. We upgrade Tactician. We have Happy Flower. We have Nunchaku. Let's find this freaking calculator gamble and let's go win. So I want to do all the elites. We have two elites here. Okay. And we have two. We have three elites on the right. Well, you guys know what time it is. It's three elites on the right. Let's do it. Will we see Calculator Gamble? Let's go. Make your prediction, boys. I'm going all in for Calculator Gamble. Better happen. I will say, obviously, damn. Well, shit. How much block do I have? Who would you take to be able to block? Fuck. Okay, no calculated. No calculated. Wait a minute. Is backflip still okay? I mean, we don't have that much energy. I don't like the backflip that much. We have too many acrobatics. Okay. I'll maneuver. No, no, no. No, no. Nope. Predator, no. Nope. None of these are it. No, these are not it. These are not the cards. Those are not calculated gamble. Okay, Sundown. Now, Sundown is unironically amazing. It doesn't seem like it yet. I know. But wait until you see the Calculated Gamble Nightmare Sundial deck. At that point, you're asking, well, do you even need the energy? Because once you, if you Nightmare cal Calculated Gamble, you probably win the fight anyways. Hmm. Sundial feels nice. My deck is quite fat, but I can imagine the world where my deck is gambling everything away. But I'm not there yet. It's very expensive, Sundial. And remember, everything that says energy is pretty nice. You can play around it. Although, I would be neglecting to remove. And what remove do we want? I'm thinking I want to remove... Well, this PK wasn't that great. This distraction is not that great either. I might even get rid of choke at this point. I think we do damage in other ways. Spoon for endless agony? I don't know. Spoon Adrenaline is cool, but the Endless Agony redraw, I don't know if that's actually good. And we have Shivs. I actually really like the, the Sundial. And this is kind of a, a soul read that I'm doing right now, so it might backfire. It might backfire. How much damage do I have? 12, 24, all right, we're good. I 
I want, I, I'm, I'm setting up for the deck that I, I want to have in the future. That's what I'm doing. This Spiky Boy is actually really problematic. I didn't mention it, but Spiky Boy is a problem. I might have to do Phantasmic Killer for next turn. Is it ever choke to help kill the spiky boy? Take one damage? It's gonna help me. It's gonna help me for sure. Alright, and next year we try to do some kind of phantasm because of the nonsense. Never mind. No nonsense here. I should play poison on it, maybe. Well fuck. Damn. Wait. Alright, for the price of 6 HP, I get out of this fight. Can I save more life than that? Um, acrobatics, adrenaline could... Maybe distraction can block for more. 6 HP and I'm done. I don't want to take 6 HP for nothing, though. The problem is I don't really block in this deck. But stalling does make... Okay, stalling is pretty nice. It does make my hat, my flower, and my tiny house better. I mean, my uh, sundial better. Yay, we got block. Okay, that's huge. That's really huge. That's really fucking huge. Alright, we still take a lot of damage, though. Can we stall even more? Where am I block? I guess leg sweep. I can do leg sweep stuff. Perfect. That's how you block. That's how you block. Alright, Cocker Gamble's not here yet. How do I freaking... So we don't need accuracy. Our Accuracy seems tempting. We don't need it. I want to say we don't need it. We have PK. We have Terror. We need to find Gamble. Let's find out. Is this guy scary? Piercing welds are not that great here. I mean, I just want to get piercing welds out of the deck at this point. I got nightmare adrenaline. That should win the fight. Does Nightmare Finisher win the fight more often? So we just say Finisher for like each turn? Because we gotta survive five turns, right? So does Nightmare Finisher do more for this fight? Let's prepare it first. Wait, Nightmare Prepared is incredible. Wait. Nightmare Prepared is incredible. What am I doing? Nightmare Finisher is very good as well, though. To make this fight completely free. Five energy? Wow. So there's the Phantasmal Killer. There's the Choke. There's all the things. He's weakened. Phantasm Killer for next turn. Oh, we have so many options. Oh, we have so many options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so many options, don't we? If 
finisher and then endophantasmal. Let's lock into one finisher, maybe one survivor. Unless you guys want to do another nightmare on something. Nah, it's fine. Happy flowers coming in. Some flowers getting ticked up. I love it. This deck is fun. Unconventional and fun. So there's the... F I have infinite damage here, so I kind of want to save the finisher for the next round. I should have been careful. I should probably save the finisher for the next round. Too much damage here. So much damage. Wow. I might even kill the guy if I'm not careful. I should have proc skewer for zero one. That was my bad. Alright, and after this we're gonna survive one more. I wanna preserve the sundown, but I don't think I can. Can I? I don't think I can, can I? Unfortunately. I'd kill him if I tried. Yeah, I think I could even kill him. So unfortunately, Sundow and Happy Flower are really... S Happy Flower is fine. Sundow isn't. Let's make some Happy Nunchakus. Very nice. Sundow will get his time in the sun once we get Calculated Gamble right here. Calculated Gamble right here. Calculated Gamble. Man, I'm trying. I don't think I want anything in this deck except for Calculator Gable. I, I can't imagine a card I want more. I guess more prepared plus is fine. All right, what do we got? Really? Okay. What does Madness do? Does Jack shit? All right. First elite. Okay. Qu question is, do I need to do elites? Are elites unnecessary risk? Like, do we struggle against any elites? I don't think so. So let's do it. Is there, okay, do I want upgrade instead? Let's think about it. Uh, I could upgrade Phantasmal Killer, make it free. I think a free Phantasmal does go a long way in this three energy deck. Let's do the elite. We got Nightmare. We have Nightmare PK. Sounds like Cypher PK. I can do Nightmare on the backstab, usually pretty good, to go crazy on damage next turn. Unfortunately, I can't get Nunchaku proc here, which I could have fixed if I did Skewer last fight. And that Nunchaku proc is very relevant. That Nunchaku proc is very relevant. Because the Nunchaku proc makes it so that I can play PK, Nightmare, and Wild Aid. And without it, Damn. And Chuck Brock is everything here. Wait a minute. This is a bad turn, actually. I realize I did miss one skewer last fight. And that energy makes a big difference here. Because these three cards holding terror is GG. But it looks like I can't do that. So what is the change of plan? Well, let's take a look. Play that. Okay, so we have damage, but I don't have outmaneuver, right? And I don't have ways to kill multiple minions. We have a catalyst that does jack shit. But we have a prepared as well, okay. This could be a big turn. I think we win anyways. I have a small hunch we win anyways. I don't want to do the math, but maybe I should, right? Um... There's a lot of damage right now. There's a lot of damage. 
So let's do this. Because I can kill all the, the minions. Okay, if we should have... Okay, how do I guarantee lethal here? Oh, that's how you guarantee lethal. Alrighty. Damn, son. Ninja Scroll. Now, Ninja Scroll is fitting for the deck. But is it good? I can't tell if it's good or not. You gotta finish this run, man. I just want to calculate the game. That's all I want. I'm not sure Ninja Scroll is good. It has to be the last run. Alright. Ninja Scroll, is it good? Bad against Time Eater. Ninja Scroll, bad against the heart. Bad against Time Eater, bad against the heart. Yeah, I don't know. Ninja Scroll's not that great. I don't know. If I had a Ninja Relic, it would be a different story. Alright, Cocker Gamble. Okay, if the Cocker Gamble is here, I'm going to lose my mind. Do we want that to die? Gamble. Alright, nice elite. Nightmare backstab. Big fan. Where's my where's my finisher turn one? Should have played that first, my bad. Nice. There's a choke. There's a nightmare. Nightmare backs up again. Nightmare backs up again. I'm backstabbing this guy nonstop. He's never healing the end of it. Why? Because finish is a thing. And my question is, wow. What if I get PK here? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Flex spot is good, but I don't need it. I, I have damage for days. I want to proc Sundial, actually, now that I think about it. I have lethal. But poor Sundial. I can do Happy Flower and Sundial. Uh, I should have done some less damage because if I did less damage, I could do PK Skewer next turn. We have, we have lethal next turn anyways. Let's be honest. And that helps her Happy Flower, helps her Ninchaku, and helps her Sundial. Now, I was feeling confident that I had infinite anyways. But what if I was wrong? What if I was dead wrong? It's possible. I might have just taken damage to the face for no reason. Now I gotta make sure I wasn't dead wrong. Did I do all this for a happy flower and a sundial proc? I figured I had lethal no matter what because of finisher. But was I wrong? I didn't. I take into account that I'll be weakened. PK smash. I know it's, it's, the PK is such a. It's like RuneScape mix. There's Ness. There's like Fortnite. There's, it, it's weird. Same PK. Um, well, I know Flexbot isn't worth 
two procs of these relics. I should have just killed them. I did not take into account the weaken. How much damage do I have? Nine? How much is this? It's gonna be like 25? Damn. Whatever. Prepared. All right. It's not Kaka the Gamble, but it's it's his close cousin. It's his close cousin. I should have kept that adrenaline, that was my bad. Should have kept adrenaline. I mean, acrobatics in that situation. Okay. These are not calculated gamble. Damn, we're running out of time for Calculator Gamble. I'm also down a flex pot. Is backflip good? Maybe with his lantern and stuff. Maybe. I can see the world board. Maybe it is. There's a lot of damage. Should have held on to the backstab for terror. Damn, that's phantasmal. Holy. I want a nightmare with adrenaline. Sounds fun. Wow. Okay, well, now I gotta remove some of these agonies. So I've, I noticed that I have some bad draws. We need card draw. Maybe I should have taken that backflip. Wait, backflip was pretty good, wasn't it? Fuck. Backflip did say draw on it. We have lethal next turn. And okay, we're good. I'm happy with this. Interesting. Can I proc Sundial right now? What do you guys think? What are the odds? I can get there. Sundial. And then of course I want to stack up this Ninjaku. More adrenalines, okay. Actually, it's card draw. Okay, adrenaline is cool. It's card draw. It is card draw. It's a really good nightmare target as well. But expertise is card draw, and we've been struggling for card draw. But expertise costs one energy. But endless expertise goes really well with out maneuver into endless agonies. Endless agony draw a whole bunch of cards. I'm taking expertise. Okay, now I just need calculate a gamble, and we're set. We're done. We have one card, and we're done. Oh god, we're having to do this thing. We're at to fight this freaking. I have to fight these uh, spikers again. This is like my worst enemy in the, in the spire. This might be the hardest fight in the spire right now. Unironically, I have the nightmare poison stab or something. I mean, how do I handle these? I am not looking forward to these spikers, man. I am not looking forward to these spikers. Uh, I can nightmare something crazy, like prepared, I guess. Prepared gives me block. 
Prepared gives me block. I can get ahead of the curve with poison. Uh, I forgot to do skewer again for one, for zero. What does your track give me? Oh god. These things are the, my worst nightmare. Oh bad, but endless tag, I can't keep endless tagging in the deck. Uh oh. Two spikers is horrible for me. And I have shivs and endless agony. I need to get rid of these, these endless agonies. I can't keep them in the deck. This endless agony is going to be the death of me. I had to take one damage. Sorry, endless agony is too rough. Okay, we got to reach on the survivor as often as possible. I had to crack my sundial for this fight. Nightmare prepared. That's how we solve it. That's how we solve it. I have PK next turn. I just don't want to draw into these. I really don't want to draw into these bad boys. What happens first? What comes first, the block? Does anybody know? Who knows? All right, but we had Nightmare prepared, which is very good for all the block needs. Yay. Choke. Oh, PK again. I love it. Okay, very good. Wow. What a travesty this is, huh? Sheesh. Push that is good. I'm gonna just fine. Ah, we're done. We're, we're through it. We're through the worst of it, guys. We're through the worst of it. It's like this is like fighting the horror. I know. Man, where's the calculated game board? It exists in the game, right? I know it exists. I know it's there. No, where's my gamble? You can't tell me gamble's not here. All right, so what do we remove now? What if I remove one endless agony? It's becoming too much against the time meter, this endless agony, but it gets rid of itself, I guess. Um, distraction? Eh, I want to remove something. I'm rich. How often does escape plan draw? Not. 
Actually, time meter is sort of scary. What I need like a degenerate game plan against time meter. Against time meter, I could do. You know, gamble is very good against time meter because it's so efficient in block. I think for time meter, we have to do a big skewer. Wait, I don't actually know what I'm doing against time meter. I just thought about it. I don't have an answer for time meter. I like the RNG of distraction too much. I don't know how important it is to get rid of artifacts or poison stab. I'm not sure how important that really is. Poison stab feels like the worst card in my deck. Poison stab feels like the worst card in my deck. That and distraction, but at least distraction sometimes like can be a block card. I think I'm gonna move on endless agony. I don't need all these endless agonies. It just feels wrong when they get rid of themselves. Cloak and daggers, okay, not that great of a card either. Am I gonna need this removal of poison stab for the heart? I don't think so. I might need it for the act for elite though. Okay. We gotta make a choice here, boys. We're in dire situation. The time meter is coming up, and I had no idea what my game plan is. I can imagine I'm gonna need some sort of a nightmare degenerate. I just don't know what it's gonna be. Just a big finish return, I guess, with Maybe it's a power pot against that fight. I have a lot of gold. I'm saving for the heart, uh, the Act 4 shop. I needed to gamble. Yeah, it's Prairie Wheel. It's pretty disappointing. All right. Is never prepared, but never prepared is a lot of random cards. Six, six block per card. It might have to be. But we can still get gambles in Act 4 shop, right? Is that over yet? Or was the prediction for Act 3 only? Footwork. Nightmare footwork. Thoughts? But we don't even have any cars that block. In Venom? Nightmare in Venom? Do big finisher things. But how are we blocking, guys? Maybe never maybe never prepared is better. So prepared is, per card is two block. Sorry, six block per card. We're gonna have to make big uses of uh big liberal use of piercing well in this fight. Which means Wally Plans is pretty decent here. If I take damage here, is it a big deal? That's expensive next turn, I just realized. I just realized that's so expensive next turn. But like PK, PK slice finisher. Is PK worth it? Oh, we should hold the piercing one for another turn. Because piercing one blocks ta now, which is not bad. We can also maximize finisher on another turn where I have twelve cards. Like I can maximize finisher when I have twelve cards. No. And saving life seems important. Oh, 
Although, if I do finish her now, it's a lot of poison. It's a lot of poison, isn't it? And I, I can do finish her after I play all these Venoms, right? And now this is where you want the Piercing Will. I've come to realize this is where you want Piercing Will. This is where you want a piercing wheel, huh? I could do a big skewer too. Piercing wheel for this turn is fine. Okay, whatever. Um, should I hold into both Venoms and get them out of the way? And not care about skewer next turn? And once we have Venoms, we're good. That was kind of expensive. Uh, we need a block here. So we have Nightmare. Is it every Nightmare Flash of Steel? Um, hmm. No, I think it wants to be Nightmare Adrenaline or Nightmare Prepared. So Venom was kind of troll. I could have held finisher last turn. That's okay. I want to hold on to these piercing wheels. I have six cards I can play. I've never Nightmare Flash of Steel. I want to see what Venom hits first, though. I, I guess the question is, are we struggling against the next boss? Nightmare Prepared seems so bad. Hmm. I do Nightmare Piercing Wheel on this double block now so I don't get blown out of the water because there's a lot of damage I'm taking. We can kill this thing in one big foul swoop. We need to just um, preserve life here. Preserving life seems to be pretty important here. I don't even get that I'm wasting Nightmare on like random piercing will because with all the Envenoms plus the finishers and stuff this fight should be pretty free like a big PK terror turn basically next boss is free you think the next boss is free is Dono Deca free the problem is Dono Deca doesn't seem free man I need to draw into cards that are not these. I think it was actually Nightmare Prepared. Why? Because Nightmare Prepared blocks six per card and draws into the other cards that block. So Nightmare Prepared seems correct. Because the Venom, I don't think we needed the damage. Whereas Nightmare Prepared is just fucking insane. Like six block per turn is incredible. Because it draws into everything else that it blocks. Mm. Okay, uh, what do I do now?
Prepare would have saved you so much life this fight. So next turn we can go crazy on damage. Is now the turn to go crazy? But I have to draw into finisher for this to be crazy, you know? If I don't draw finisher, I need to draw PK first. How about we draw PK first? Let's look for PK. And then PK we win. So let's look for PK. So let's do look for PK and then try to set up 12. PK is very deep though. How about wait for finisher? Let's wait for finisher then. Left for finisher and then go. I think it's acrobatics to look for finisher. This is fine, I guess. And now we gotta find finisher, we win. Finisher, we go crazy. I don't have PK, but finisher wins. That was a big sundial turn, though. Ah, uh, we win now. We win now, right? Is it worth playing choke right now or nah? How much damage is choke doing? I'd rather draw into my finisher for the lethal. Oh, Phantasmal Killer, we win next turn, right? Phantasmal, we win next turn. Phantasmal Maneuver, we win next turn. It's gonna weaken me, but I don't think it matters. Ah, but the problem is I'm gonna leave myself on less cards. Next turn we win no matter what though, right? I'm gonna be weakened though, right? Mm. Throne deck is scary. Let's take a look. I'll be weakened, but I'll have eight cards I can play. With eight cards. I mean, even Skewer does a lot of damage next turn. I want to stack up in Shaku. And Sundao. Sundao's going to be important. How much is this? It's a lot. It's very much a lot. It's lethal. So let's stack in Shaku a little bit. I'm scared of Thunder Deca, so Thunder Deca is like terrifying. Because I don't have a way to get rid of their artifacts. Okay, that gets rid of artifacts. But 
does get rid of artifacts. Next turn is really important. Hoping that Wild Depends hits a nightmare here. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Well, it is the end of the world because I want Nightmare to hit the adrenaline, right? I'm hoping Wild Depends hits a nightmare here. I should probably just nightmare adrenaline straight up because that's too important. What do you want a nightmare here in this situation? We can nightmare Flash of Steel. We can acrobatics first, see what we want a nightmare first. Hmm. What do you want a nightmare here? I could nightmare neutralize. Neutralize plus we have adrenaline's next turn. Is that really a good nightmare? Is it extra expertise next turn? Nightmare, no, nightmare, nightmare neutralize is fine, I guess. It's a lot of neutralizes though, isn't it? Next turn we're gonna have three neutralize, three adrenalines. I could hold on to expertise. I could hold on to expertise skewer.
I think I did it. I think we solved it. It was tough, but we did it. It was tough, but we did it. And now I gotta kill this Deca guy, though. And I gotta draw into finisher here. It was tough, but we did it. I can weaken this guy. Uh, let's try to draw back into weaken. Oh, and I have I went over again next turn. Wow. Weaken's not important, is it? We're gonna go for the kill next turn. But right now I have a lot of damage right now. Let's go for the damage right now, huh? We even have Sundell. Do I want to preserve Sundell? How much damage can we preserve if we preserve Sundell? Um, is preserving Sundell worth it? I feel this is going to be tough. All I need is calculator gamble. If we get calculator gamble in the shop, we're fine. Or actually, it's nightmare prepared in time to fight. If I never prepared in time to fight, that fight wouldn't even be a, a stress. We would have probably both our potions, but this adds more drama. I guess I'm deciding if I want to keep. Um, who am I kidding? We have lethal. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think. If maybe I play a little bit better in Nightmare the Prepared, I can maybe save a potion against Nightmare. It's okay. We have a lot of money. Give me Gamble. None of this matters. Give me Gamble. At this point, the PK upgrade is looking relevant. Why? Because there are times where I have random powers that I want to dictate onto Nightmare, and having the zero cost helps with the mom of at hand. Man. But well, that's, that's a decent rest, isn't it? It's a decent rest. How important is this PK upgrade? It was scary. I just played the to fight really wrong. That's all. Time fight was a hard fight to begin with. All right. Is this upgrade worth 12 HP? What about finisher? No. Is PK worth 12 HP? Is Tactician worth 12 HP? We just need Gamble, man. We go to the jar. All right, at this point, I'm begging. I am begging the Spire to give me the gamble at the end of this elite fight. All right, boys. I'm getting down to the wire. Now I'm asking, is Secret Technique worth it? Because it can fetch your Nightmare. You fetch the Nightmare, Theoretically, I can prepare the heart to death, no? If I just keep preparing, 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 preparing. It's like a gamble light. So if you never prepared, it's block positive, and eventually it's going to hit the tactician, so it's going to be energy positive. And 
And with enough repairs, maybe we can get some stuff. That's not good enough block for the heart, though. It's not good enough. That is not good enough. Okay. Madness. Hear me out. If you get madness on nightmare, now you have a free nightmare. The free nightmare can now nightmare itself. If you nightmare yourself, now you have infinite cards of your disposal. So infinite adrenaline, infinite prepareds. If you have infinite adrenaline prepared, we'll be block positive, right? How many prepares do I need in this deck? Heart goes faster than my prepares. How many prepares do I need before I'm like, okay? Well, they're barely blocked though. They're four block per prepared. That adds up four block prepared. Madness seems cheeky. Although it's very hard to make it happen. I can hold on to three cards with Wally Plants. Three cards means... I can set up some Nightmare shenanigans. At this point, Nightmare Prepared seems like to be the best bet. You think the heart goes faster than two Nightmares? Is it? I can hit zero cost nightmare no problem because I have um so many zero cost cards. I think hitting cost zero cost nightmare is not hard at all. No, you're asking. I'm thinking about it with you. I'm thinking about it. Zero cost nightmare. I guess I'm juggling a whole bunch of prepareds. We keep playing prepared, 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 prepared. We get like four block per prepared. We do damage in between. What kind of damage are we doing in between? In between madness or secret technique for me? What else could I nightmare? That's zero cost. That would be really sick. Acrobatics. Acrobatics would be block positive and draw a shit ton of cards. And that maybe go infinite with tactician? I don't know. Oof. It's getting close. It's getting dicey. Car is like a truck? I know. But if I play a bunch of repairs, I'm block positive for that turn. Just non stop repairs. I just keep playing prepared, 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 and we're block positive. But then we got to figure out how are we going to kill in the meantime is the main problem. We do have big turns of damage, like Phantasma Killer damage. We do have a lot of damage in between that. I'm thinking I'm going to commit to the madness here. It's a little bit risky. Oh, can I do just, do I need infinite pre prepares or should I just do one nightmare? Is one nightmare prepared good enough? We're going to have five prepares in the deck. That doesn't seem block as good block positive. It's going to be hard, though, to do all this and also block at the same time, right? To set up all this prepare shit. It's going to be hard, isn't it? It's going to be... Okay. How am I going to set up this infinite nightmare prepared stuff and also not die? We have Ghost in the Jar. That's how. So what do we remove now? We we'll remove one endless agony because it's now run its course. What card is no longer good? Distraction. What what can distraction give me that's useful, guys? 
Sometimes distractions burst, sometimes distractions nightmare. I like the element of RNG. Cloak and Dagger seems like it could go. Blade Dance honestly can go. Well, Blade Dance is really good with Finisher, but... Fuck, I don't know what to remove. I want to remove something, though. You think Choke is good? It gets rid of Artifacts, which helps with the uh, Pish and Whale. But play get rid of madness. I gotta get rid of something, man. I is is this endless agony not that good? Gets rid of itself, but let's get rid of it. Is another Wally Plants help me to set this up? So Wally Plants is three 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 retained. Does that help me set it up? Or does that just Break my draw too much. Does three retain break my draw too much? Retaining three is quite nice. Let's go. Let's smack this elite and then fight the heart. There's choke. There's distraction. There's terror. Wonderful. Hmm. All right, next turn's gonna be a problem, though. Oh man, it's gonna be tough, tough, tough stuff. Tough, 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 tough stuff. There's nightmare. There's nightmare. Is nightmare backstep the move? Choke gets rid of an artifact. Number backs up the move. Does number backs to give me a shit ton of damage next turn. Whoa, Phantasm Killer. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, sir. Now I need Wally Plants to hit the. Finisher. And I can kill this guy next turn. I can even hold finisher next turn actually. Finisher next turn is even better, isn't it? Finisher next turn is even better, isn't it? Okay, I don't want this hit the what the what the piercing will. Nice. So to hold on to this for finisher next turn. It does more damage, but it does a lot of damage now, though, that's the thing. But is it better next turn? Next turn we have... It is pretty good next turn, this finisher. Because it's double damage, so it's going to be 12, right? 12 per. And in the very least, it's going to have 3 attack. But it's free right now. I probably should attack the Spire Shield. All right, so we have the terror. Terror's back, back in business. Back in business, and it does a lot of damage. Terror's not fucking around. Maybe if I focus this guy was better, because if I'm keeping piercing well, if I focus on this guy with like a big finisher backstab, this guy was dead, right? It's a small flesh wound. It's fine. Should be a small flesh wound. Did I neglect this guy too much?
We have Nightmare on Adrenaline, but I gotta survive this turn, not the next. Will I kill it now? I guess killing it now is pretty good. I can kill next turn, Phantasmal, or I can kill now. How much damage do I have? Do we have lethal next turn? We should. I'm gonna trust that we do. We don't, I lied. Maybe I do, never mind, I lied. I think I do have lethal. Good enough. Okay, the hard's gonna be tough, boys. But I'm gonna try. Boy, am I gonna try. I wonder if I'm choke now. Choke would be great. There's the choke. I want to proc Sundao. Sundao is too important. How can I proc Choke without proccing Sundao? Fuck, it's impossible, huh? Perfect! Ah, oh, the Sundao. No, the Tinksha. The only way the Tinksha is something I'm happy to see. If you show me the calculated gamble. But now that I'm prepared is really cool. All right. Man, I'm prepared and a dream. Tinksha, bandages. Let's get it going. That's a lot of uh, acrobatics, isn't it? All right, boys. There's the madness. There's the madness. If we get the if we can get this nightmare prepared. I feel like we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Alright. Let's buckle up. About to take some damage. The ninja scroll is bad for the heart. We knew that. We knew that. So what we want to dig is dig for nightmare. If we can dig for nightmare, we can make it zero cost now but then we have to hold on to it how do we hold on to it we have to get wally plants we have two wally plants there's a lot of things a lot of conditions here i might have to end up just nightmare prepared to begin with and save this man i don't know what we got to draw let's draw see what happens beat of death is unavoidable here beat of death is unavoidable should we try distraction Okay. Let's see what distraction is. I guess sort of artifacts later on. I don't mind that. That's an endless agony. Okay. So we can block. Let's add maneuver. Let's adrenaline and see what we draw. Alright. Looks like beta depth is gonna be a thing. Unfortunately, I wish I had better draws. And I did add another acrobatics. Three acrobatics in the deck. But these are really shitty draws, and this madness doesn't do anything. I wish I had better draws here. I can't even hold my piercing wheels for next turn, which is kind of important. And I want to hold in, uh, the madness, but I can't because Wally Plans are here, so I might have to do his Nightmare on Prepared. Or like Nightmare on Nightmare, and then Nightmare Prepared, and just 
old fashioned, raw and dirty, nightmare prepared every single turn I can. And eventually I'll get enough. Maybe it won't be infinite. How much music can I take here? Well, I don't want to draw the back into these shifts. I don't want to draw back into back step. I do want to play the weaken. I do want to play out maneuver. I don't want to draw back into endless agony. I mean, these things. I don't want to draw endless agony in particular. I could always discard the shift later on with the the prepareds, but the endless agony I don't want to see again. I wonder if it's nice. I can't hold it to piercing will. Uh, bouncing flask does nine poison. Does some does damage. Is it worth it for two damage to my face? Maybe. I think every bit of damage to my face is gonna matter here. Never prepared is gonna be huge. I, I believe in this deck. And all these things like the shivs, the bouncing flask, I could always just prepare them out of the, out of the way. The same with the status is about to get, the burns and the wounds. Uh, the biggest thing is we got to draw into a piercing wheel for the multi attack coming up. Luckily, he is weakened. I can't hold these. Yeah. And I guess on the redraw, I can do madness. Maybe. I'm not sure madness will get played. How much is this damage relevant? I mean, don't we have infinite damage? Once we get going, don't we have infinite damage? Drawing to shift in the redraw sucks, but we should have a lot of draw on the redraw. And we have three retained. Should be fine. So we're going to draw two shifts in the redraw. Should be fine. Preserving life here. Okay. Very good. So we got our first, we got nightmare, nightmare, uh, nightmare Unprepared. But before we do that, before we do Nightmare Unprepared, Let's see if we can nightmare nightmare first and go crazy. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Now there's no madness involved, but nightmare nightmare, nightmare prepared. That's a lot of prepares. I can start adding a lot of prepares in the deck. I think I can do it. And we hold them to piercing well next turn. Next turn. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling really confident here. Okay, first let's play Terror, then Well Laid. And see what the Well Laid hits, because it might make my life easier here. Or just play it straight up. Next turn, we're going to go crazy with the prepareds and the nightmare stuff. Energy is going to be a problem. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. No gamble. I broke up a gamble into 20,000 pieces. Terror, and see what this hits. If it hits... I don't want to take one beat of death as a problem. And I also want to draw a little bit more this turn because I might. So here's the thing. I kind of do well straight up. See what it hits. If it hits piercing bad, if it's cloak. Okay, that's fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Expertise. Expertise draws into a lot of cards. What cards do we want to draw into particular? We want to draw into back into our 
We want to draw a lot of this crap out now, so I think expertise is good here. But what if it draws into my wallet and I can't play it? Well, very good. Very good. Very fucking good. What a turn. Oh, yeah, but we got to think about this. We're going to have three prepared, three, um, three prepared and three nightmares. Okay. So do I even want to hold acrobatics? Yes. Okay. First and foremost, nightmare, nightmare, and then nightmare prepared, right? Rinse, repeat, until we have so much prepared in the deck that I'm killing him and blocking the whole turn. Okay. Seems like I got it figured out. Just want to make sure I don't fuck it up somehow. Can I avoid beat of death? I would like to avoid beat of death if I can. Seems hard to. Okay, so do we want a nightmare, nightmare again, or nightmare, keep nightmare, nightmare in the prepared? I said nothing but prepared. I think nothing but prepared, right? We have to do piercing will. Wait a minute, how to do piercing will? Can I get away without doing piercing will? Can we draw into Tactician and into Adrenaline right now? Potentially, yeah. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. We got this. Well, if I keep the Slice in this Endless Agony, while they plans is gonna hit a card I wanna see guaranteed, no? Like, we don't need to see this nightmare again. And Wally Plants wants to hit something guaranteed here. Like that. We have to do Piercing Will. I'm kind of curious to see. Oh, this is tough, because what if I hit... All right. I can always play the Piercing Will this turn, right? Because... Tactician is involved and Adrenaline is involved. There's no way I can never hit it. And we have Sundell. Okay, and we prepared. Just get, get the void out of the deck, right? Or let's just do this get the void out of the deck. We got the madness back. Let's try going crazy. Now what can we manage here? We'll find out. I wanna I don't want to see Endless Agony again. The weak is not bad. Hold on to piercing wheel seems good, right? Because you want to have piercing wheel for the next multi-attack. No, I just want to get Endless Agony out of the deck, if I'm being honest. And now we can madness. Wait, now we can manage Nightmare. So now we have the Infinite Nightmare. Wait. Now we manage Nightmare here. So now we manage the Nightmare. So if I do Blade Dance, I'll maneuver. Nightmare is now madness. And now we have the Infinite Nightmares for free. And we have Infinite Prepareds. We did it. We shuffled. We did it. I think we did it, boys. Holy shit. I fucking did it. The main problem is I still need to play. No, I already got rid of the void, but we still need to play a whole bunch of preparers next turn. And I saw the nightmare. The wait, I still need two energy because I saw the nightmare. The um.
No, I have energy next turn. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, it's glorious. I fucking love it. Look at this. You do the madness, hits the nightmare, right? You play this for energy, right? You play that for energy. No, no, wait. I gotta, I gotta get rid of a card and play a zero-cost something. One sec. I need a zero-cost something. I need to hit Endless Agony or something. Piercing Mill is really good to hold on to. Ah, but I gotta do Nightmare on the prepared. Fuck, wait. Ah, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got a number prepared. Wait a minute. I totally forgot that I had the number prepared. And that's my zero cost nightmare. Fuck. I need to hit a zero cost something so I can do nightmare of the nightmare. But then I need to draw into the next prepared. Because number prepared is really important for next turn. And we don't have weaken for next turn. This prepared is rough because if I don't hit the next prepared. Fuck, wait a minute. Alright, I need to play. Damn, how do I do this? Okay, I need to draw into exactly prepared with this. Then play zero cost attack. Zero cost attacks, nightmares the nightmare. And then I got a nightmare that prepared. It's tough. Because if I don't have prepared now, then don't I have I don't have enough block next turn. At least not often. Although I do have a lot of block in the deck. It's not like I don't have block. I have a lot of repairs in the deck. Huh. I'm worried here, because if I don't have prepared. I'm worried about I don't have block next turn. If it's a multi-attack, I'm good. But not necessarily, because I, I have Balancing Piercing, potentially. How important is it for me to Nightmare the Zero Cost Nightmare? It makes the infinite go crazy, but I'm scared I'm going to die next turn. Because I don't have Weaken. So I could just bail out and Nightmare the Prepared now. And just bail out. And this... Find a zero cost attack anyways, and then nightmare the nightmare that's not zero cost. Yes, it's not a free nightmare, but it bails us out of not having prepared nightmare to combo next turn. Unless we're confident that we have enough block next turn. Oh my god! Holy shit, I got everything I wanted. Oh my fucking god. GG. Okay, now what I need to do is get Bouncing Flash, play the piercing well. I think I might even I might even be block positive here. Wow. What a run. Uh, thank you, JS. All right, let's do it. What a run. Now, everything should be just playing a lot of cards and winning the game. We did the hard part. Whew. Okay. Bouncing Flask into Piercing would be nice. How do I go about doing that? Let's get rid of this. There's the bouncing, there's the piercing. Very nice. Insane RG, that was crazy. Yeah, 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 it was crazy. Uh, so we have a nightmare, nightmare, the nightmare prepared. Nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare prepared. Let's draw. I 
I could probably block without the piercing. This makes my life easier. Nightmare, nightmare. I'm prepared. Okay. Nightmare Whale, just in case. I have another whale on the deck. Alright. So now we can make whatever we want. We can Nightmare Whales for the big attacks, but now we gotta start doing damage, alright? So I gotta test if this is block positive. Because I did all this, and I don't even know if it was block positive. I have so many nightmares in the deck. Yeah, this, it's, it's, it's many nightmares might actually fuck me over. Nightmare Tacticians? Yes, it's Nightmare Tactician. Let's do that. Let's do that. I don't want to have a, a world where I, I brick a draw. Got an armor tactician, right? Wait, do I have enough block here? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We should have enough block, right? We've got to play the uh, prepared. Alright, so we can nightmare a whale for the future attack. But what if I do that later on? Wait, I might not have enough here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is not good. This isn't good. Alright. I have too many freaking nightmares and not enough prepared. It should be block positive. It's just that I'm playing a lot of cards that are not nightmares. We're good right now. If we just if we just end the turn like this, we're good. Alright, so we have the nightmare. On the tactician. How much does that leave us at? We're at 38. If I do Nightmare Tactician, we have 1 HP. But doesn't that set us doesn't that set us off? Did I never prepare this turn? I'm not sure. I can keep a whale around for the big attack, and then we can never die to the multi-attack. And then we just prepared this. Thing. But the problem is, once he gets three per beat of death, I'm only blocking three, which is still positive. Can I just hold this, the tactician, instead of taking damage now? Because I don't want to take beat of death right now. Taking beat of death sucks, but getting tactician going off now is quite nice. Because then I just have energy for days. The game from here is to now add some um, some expertise to go along with all this block positivity and keep doing prepares nonstop. <sighs> we got in this pickle. Um, the problem is it's hard. I can't leave myself with no life because the way... The way that the beat of death works with the prepared is not very good. So I leave myself with no life is not very good. I need more draw, exactly. So I'm going to do... But I would really like to Nightmare Prepare Tactician now. I just don't like that it leaves me with no life. Because there's going to be a situation where I'm going to have to prepare first. And that's going to kill me. Right? And that's not good. So I think leave myself with some HP is important. Although, I was expecting to get a lot more blocked this turn. Like, there's a lot of prepareds here that I didn't draw because I think I get too crazy with the nightmares. 
There's a lot of prepares that didn't draw there. So I think I can't... But then we have so much Nightmare in the draw now. Fuck. This is scary. We're going to have to Nightmare some... Some expertise as well. It's a little bit rough because we're going to have no life to work with. I guess I should have done it because we didn't have no life to work with anyways. Or now we really have no life to work with. This is bad. Now we really have no life to work with. Wait, we need oof, we need cards that block Oh, it does discard first. So it does discard first. And now we gotta draw into expertise. You guys ready? I draw into expertise. Wait, I got a number one prepared and then expertise. And I'm gonna have a whole ass deck. Wait, so what, what happens first? Does the block come before the beat of death? If so, then we're fine. What happens first? Because if, if I don't know how to worry about beat of death, then I'm, I, I, I think I got this. Okay, we're good. What's up, money? How you doing, buddy? We're good then. We're good. We're good. How you doing, buddy? I have to keep one nightmare because one nightmare is gonna be important for. The expertise. Thank you, money, money. Have you, I, I, I've been winning every game today. All right. So I, my hand's going to be... My hand's going to be prepared, tactician, and expertise. Did I also do a nightmare? My hand's going to be full. Got you, Neo Cyclone. So do I just go like crazy on the draw right now? <clears throat> What's the benefit of going crazy right now for Weaken? Blur would have been good. Did we, don't we have a Blur in the deck? No, we don't. Bouncing Flash is... But I think we should spend all our. I'm curious, guys. Are we um? Do we have nightmare nightmare? How, I, okay, I'm nightmare in a tactician prepared and expertise. I'm not nightmare nightmare. Should I be nightmare nightmare or nah? Next turn I have nine cards plus piercing will. I'm done. I'm hoping these repairs are enough to block next turn. Can I block the big attack next turn? It's tough to say. If this was a Tactician Plus, oh my god, we'd be so good. If anything, I need more prepares, right? But then, if I do... So what's the order that it happens? If I never prepared, prepared right now, what is the order that it happens? Because I want to make sure I get my expertise as well. Does it just go into the discard? What if I had Nightmare or Acrobatics as well? 
Yeah, but I'm saying if I nightmare prepared on top of it, does it does it, is it going to cancel out my other words or is it going to go straight to discard? Because right now I have tactician prepared expertise next turn. Damage? Thanks for doing damage. Thanks for just three per card. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what, what's gonna happen with this this fourth nightmare. If it's just gonna just override or just go to the discard. I'm hoping it goes to the discard. I'm scared that it won't. Goes to the discard. You're not sure. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out. Should I keep that around? Cause the piercing will. I'm gonna need piercing will. So I have to keep them around, but we had numbers in the deck, don't we? So we should get rid of it. I didn't get weakened though. Now right, let's see if it, it worked the way I thought it would. Yes, it did. Prepared happens first, right? Time is an asset. I know. I gotta start going crazy now. So I gotta keep nightmaring this, these tacticians. I gotta go off now. And this might just kill me this turn. This turn might just kill me. I'm hoping it doesn't. Because I want to keep prepared for the next multi-attack. Sorry, I want to keep piercing off for the next multi-attack. But we discovered that this vantage block happens first, I'm pretty sure. And I'm going to trust that it still works that way. Yes, it does. Stop giving me Endless Agony. Endless Agony is not good. Can I afford to play it right now? I want to keep Tactician around because I have to nightmare the Tactician. That's going to be like a big boon for me. Man, if it's, why isn't this Tactician not upgraded? We got a Weaken, which is good. Fuck, it's gonna take a lot, isn't this? Man. Survivor is worth a decent amount of block, isn't it? I have to. I still have an agony in the deck, unfortunately. Still have an agony the deck. I gotta get rid of them. So Survivor is pretty decent, isn't it? Anything that isn't so we just ignore Survivor. But Survivor gives me a lot of bl is block positive, isn't it? I had to go. For, I had to go for infinite. Cost energy. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so I have to name this tactician for next turn, right? How am I going to do that? That seems fair to play this Nightmare Tactician now, right? To get some more Tactician in the deck? I'm a little bit worried that I also need to do Nightmare on the Expertise again and really fill out the deck. I wish Tactician was upgraded. It would make my life so much easier. Unless you guys think I'm good on Tactician. So Nightmare Tactician now, right? 
So we have energy next turn to do everything. Next turn is the freest turn. So next turn I can go a little bit harder on damage because I have piercing will next turn. Probably drop back into it. I didn't want to take that chance. I like having guarantee will and nightmare will for all the multi attacks. And then I can just discard all the other wills. But I want to try killing. No, I don't want this to go on for too long. Hopefully I can go infinite these next two turns. Then infinite again. Yeah, my discard pile is huge. I think Nightmare Tactician makes sense. So I think we have to I think we have to do Survivor here just to get a better expertise, no? Thoughts? Survivor to get a better expertise and is block positive. It's one energy, yes, but it does help a lot. So do we nightmare? So now we have detections in next turn. Do we do nightmare expertise for next turn as well? So then we have expertise plus all the prepares plus all the tacticians. We should have good turns. And we want to be able to go pseudo infinite so that I do 200 damage per turn, right? Seems to make sense. Acrobatics isn't the greatest. I don't think I can be draw back into piercing well. I'm not going to risk it. There's Nightmare. Now we can Nightmare. Are we supposed to Nightmare something else right now? Isaac. I had to Matt. Isaac. You don't want to know what's going on in this run, Isaac. Isaac. They didn't give me Gamble. So I made Gamble into a million Prepareds. It's the fourth point of the night. I'm losing my mind. I think we solved it, but I'm not sure. 200 prepared is deep, and I'm still not sure what's going on. Okay, I'm thinking we want a night. So we have um, tactician and expertise next turn. We want a nightmare one prepared, right? So we're full. We're good on block. We can pass. No matter what happens, we can pass. I want. I want to prepared. I want to draw into expertise. You guys feeling the faith? Expertise, acrobatics. Here it is. Fuck. This is actually good. Let me explain why. Well, that's good damage. Wait, if I do prepare, that's if I do finisher, that's we're on a time crunch, aren't we? So should I actually forgo the nightmare? And wait, do we have any prepares next turn? We do. Okay, this is getting dicey though. Wait, I think I discard the nightmare to play the finisher. You don't need the game if you're really prepared. Because the finisher is good damage, and we want to do as much damage. And at this point, we're trying to do as much damage as possible so I don't have to do all this other crap. The Nightmare Piercing Wheel is cool and all, but... Yeah, let's discard that instead. Okay. Now, we're never worried about the multi-attack, because we have this. Boom. Gorgeous. Alrighty, and now we got to do 200 damage, give or take, and then we have two free turns to go for the kill. And now I can use Piercing Whale, which makes my expertise better. I don't, I don't plan on having to do it. So I was gonna nightmare the uh, Piercing Whale, but I realized 
he's not going to last much longer, right? He's not going to... So, I don't need to nightmare this piercing well. I don't think the fight's going to last much longer. Because at this point, we're going to do 200, give or take. By the way, Thornpot would have saved me so much time. And then we have a free turn where he's doing nothing. And then the turn where he's attacking. We should be good. I think we did this. I think we got this. I never... Okay, just, just to clarify. We don't have the Nightmare Piercing Will, right? We should have the damage now. Let me take a look. Do we have the damage to, to go 200 for these next two turns? Because I have this turn and the following two turns. Because the last thing I want to do is get rid of that piercing whale. I don't have any more in the deck and then I'm dead. I'm trusting that I have the damage. We should have the damage, right? If we don't have the damage, then it's more fun this way. It's more fun this way. Let's go. Okay, the endless agony is kicking my ass. Because my expertise is a draw. So let's get rid of one. Get rid of one endless agony. I don't want to see those again. But before we do that, we have to do some nightmares for the following turn. So the nightmare following turn, we want to do what exactly? More tacticians, more preparers. What do we want? Because there's a nightmare coming right back. I don't want to see Endless Agony again. This is the last Endless Agony in my deck. Once I get rid of it, it's gone for good. So, Nightmare Tactician seems like the play, right? Remove both. Yes, I'm going to remove both. If I do this and then expertise, prepared covers me and block. So we're never fine. We're never dead. Endless agony. Expertise. We're never dead. Because prepared covers my ass. Just being short. The last thing you want to do is not a beat of death. That would be embarrassing. Got to make sure. All right. So let's get a nightmare on this tactician real quick, right? For next turn. And what's the ratio of tacticians? We have a lot of prepareds, a little bit less tacticians. You know what? I kind of want a little bit more expertise. Let's let's draw a little bit more. There's the expertise. All right. So I can do both. I can nightmare expertise. So, what are the odds? If I nightmare expertise and then I play expertise, I have to draw exactly prepared. If I don't, well, it's not the end of the world. But there's a lot of prepared, so I think the odds are infinite. Let's get this out of the deck. Really? There's a lot of prepared. I think the odds are infinite. Really? So that's a big mishap of damage. Now what happens first here, guys? What happens first? If I do ornamental fan, if I do choke, for instance. By the way, choke can increase my damage by tenfold. If I do choke, I get the four block immediately. If I get the four block immediately, that means I can play expertise and get down to one HP. Is that correct? I, I don't, guys, do, how does this work? Does the beat of death happens first or the fan happens first? Does anybody know? I probably don't want to risk it. You think the block, block comes first? This is important because if I can do this choke and get expertise, I can get push a lot of damage this turn. You get blocked first. Okay, am I trusting Twitch chat here? Because Lord knows I'm not... This is why we need Isaac Dose to be like good. 
or not good, but like a deep in the spire lore because he has the answers to these things. Deal 12 damage. So it says, whenever you play an attack, you gain four block. I'm pretty sure Fan goes first. But it's a such a tense moment for me. Almost positive. This is life or death, and you're saying you're almost positive. That makes me almost terrified. It blocks first. All right. We're trusting Mongoose, guys. I should probably check it myself. I, sh I should check it myself, right? Easy. And now that means we can play one expertise. Is it... Because one HP victory is sick, isn't it? One HP victory. That, that, that adds to the drama. Plus, that's a lot of damage right now. Really? There's no preparedness on my choke turn. Okay. This run got a little bit harder. And um, acrobatics discards at the same time? Acrobatics discards at the same time, right? Because I'm, I'm so terrified. So the draw and all the instants and discard is at the same instant and beat up happens after. Got it. Okay, we did it. Oh, hell yes, we did it. Hell yes, we did it, we did it, we did it. Hell yes. Okay, the, get, the job that keeps on going, baby. Let's go. We did it. Damage gap is here. Flash of Steel does draw. <laughs> Gotta make sure that next turn is a good turn. We have prepared. Next turn, let's get some more prepared in the next, I guess. We have Nightmare for prepared. Finisher does it, yes. Okay, we have two turns to go for this. Two turns. Let's do it. I should have done another Nightmare Tactician, I think. It's happening. Never again. Never again. I don't want to see a run like this ever again. But you know what? We're going to leave it. Perfect Sundown. Perfect Nunchaku. GG. 1 HP. Everything's nice and happy. My Relic Bar is kind of small. That was crazy. 
All right. I didn't have gamble, but I said there's a madness in the shop. I'm going to make this madness happen. All right. I bought the wallet plans. I bought the madness. We forced it. I had a game plan. I executed it. I'm very proud.